Hello everyone, this is Shin Mo from Fudan University. I'm really honored to introduce our work, Unifying Local and Global Knowledge, Empowering Large Language Models as Political Experts with Knowledge Graphs. The large language models show an impressive ability to tackle a wide range of tasks. However, they still encounter challenges such as hallucination when deployed in specific domains such as the political domain. You can see in this picture, the ChatGPT just refused to answer the questions related to future vote prediction due to the inadequate knowledge. So the cage-based solutions have been proposed to solve this problem. However, the cage-based solutions still meet some limitations when deployed on political domain. There are three key factors. The first one is knowledge task mismatch. The generic knowledge such as the nationality of the politicians in Wikidata and Freebase are often inadequate in modeling of political actors. The second one is ineffective direct match. In political-related tasks, the direct answers cannot be found in cages, so the general cage QA methods may fail to deal with this issue. And the third one is lack of semantic understanding. The current approaches just focus on presenting the local evidence and fail to get a comprehensive understanding of the retrieved knowledge. In light of that, we first propose a MVPKG, a multi-view political knowledge graph, which consists of both conceptual knowledge and factual knowledge. The conceptual knowledge is from Wikidata, where we select some seed entities such as president, cabinet members, congressional legislators, and so on, and retrieve their neighbor triplets to form a base KG. After that, we get the factual knowledge covering different aspects of U.S. politics, such as legislation, elections, and the diplomatic events. As a result, we get a multi-view political knowledge graph. And after that, we propose our PEG framework consisting of three steps. The first step is knowledge acquisition, where we aim to get relevant information of the query through the entity-centric evidence exploration and semantic-based evidence filter. After that, we aggregate the local evidence through either implicit solution or explicit solution, where we get a global topic vector or that in the form of natural languages, respectively. After that, we inject the local and global knowledge into the large language models through the predefined prompt templates. That's a brief introduction of this work. Thank you for listening.